Okay, so check out what we have here. Um, I was laying down on the grass and I looked up and on the underside of the leaves, this was a month ago, I found these guys. Under this leaf are two, I hope, um, I hope they're still here it's from last night, two, yeah, there's, there they are, saddlebacks. So of course these turn into a saddleback moth. And the saddleback caterpillars, if you can see this guy here, these, uh, these caterpillars are basically considered slug-like caterpillars because of the shape and they don't see the legs because the legs are hidden under the ventral surface, the feet. They also have um, a posematic coloration, okay? And that's basically bright colors mixed with dark colors to show that they're toxic. But one of my favorite things about these people is that they have what looks to be like a Japanese face, like a, a samurai's war mask or something. I'll show you that up closer. Really cool. Um, I'll film these as we go. These are considered a mild pest because of gardeners and stuff. Sometimes they brush on them and it hurts them. He just put his head down. I think the sunlight makes him put his head down. So all this up here, it's not really his face or his head. This is just markings. But it looks like a samurai warrior's helmet, in my opinion. That's how long they are now. Okay? And I found them when they were like that. So these are pretty amazing caterpillars. Now if you touch them, their hairs, their spines, are like stinging nettle, but stronger, a lot stronger. So some people find it very painful. It's, it's a neat sensation. They have a hemolytic, and I think it's called desiccating venom, which actually damages tissue. And I just dropped one by accident on my, uh, on my foot, <laughs> which is a bare foot. And uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. It burns and it hurts. It feels like I got cut open a little bit. So... You know, it's a, it's a potent defense system. It's pretty good. What the saddlebacks also are capable of, where they produce a glue-like substance for, on their undersides. I don't know if you can see that. But they have a, a glue-like substance that comes out from underneath them. And it helps anchor them to the leaves and stuff. And then they hide all their legs. As you can see, you can't really see their legs, right? So it makes it hard for predators to pull them up. Plus, it keeps them from falling off of things and stuff like that. But it's a really neat, really neat caterpillar. You see that? There's the glue stuff on the underneath. And uh, they make their cocoon out of silk. And in their climate, you know, in the temperate zone, Pennsylvania, they'll overwinter in the cocoon. And then they'll emerge in the spring or summer. But down south it'll be as much as they'll come out in like March, February or March, I, I think. I could tell these guys are pretty much in their last instar, which is their last phase, because caterpillars go through several stages. And they molt and stuff. And sometimes they look different in each stage. But these guys, I think, are in their last stage because they're consuming the entire leaf now. Whereas when they're younger, they just consume certain parts of the leaves. They avoid the veins and stuff. At least the saddlebacks do. You know, some other caterpillars do too, but I'm not sure which ones. You can see how they got the name Saddleback, because it looks like a, a saddle with a saddle blanket underneath it. I guess. <laughs> okay, see ya. What I want to show you is how much these guys eat and go to the bathroom. So today, it's Tuesday, it's almost 2.30. Um, I put a bunch of the burning bush in there, and I cleaned out the container entirely. There is no frass in there at all, which is what you call caterpillar turds, okay? It is a clean jar. There's nothing in there besides leaves and two caterpillars. So here's the uh, container. Two days later, this is all that's left of the, the one branch. The other branches are totally stripped. And uh, that's how much frass they do in just two days. This is two caterpillars. 
though. They're just eating machines, providing, a, you know, building up a lot of energy and nutrition so that they can make that metamorphosis into the moth. Really cool stuff. Saddleback, caterpillar. Really neat stuff. Love these guys. So my saddleback caterpillars have made their cocoons. They'll emerge from their cocoons around midsummer. As you can see, it's a somewhat wool-like cocoon. I don't know if that's in focus or not. We put these guys outside so that they have a proper cycle. But if I find an adult, I'll just upload a future video connected to this video. Um, this is the next day after the last clip you saw while they were still caterpillars. Okay, signing out. See you later, guys.